Good morning. This is Thursday morning. We had a, a start to a video earlier today and it didn't work out. Uh, our daughter has a, Rebecca has a uh, infection and so we had to run her up to the doctor and get some antibiotics for it and get that cleaned up. So it's been busy, busy around here. Grandkids are, are uh, busy. We went down this morning and let the goats, we got two goats down there. They don't have any ears. There's an earless goat. I've never seen them, but we got two of those that was here when we got here. And uh, we've been raising them. We'll take them up to the, uh, I think August has turned one of them into a pet. I don't think I'll have any luck taking that one up and getting rid of it. But little male goats, no ears. They're earless. They're milk, they're a milk goat. So, uh, <laughs> I seen ringneck snake out there a while ago and I went out stomping through the, the weeds trying to find it and it said it was a copperhead and then she changed no it was a ringneck snake so you know we got to watch those snakes I said you don't want to do that it's a bad deal <laughs> all right today we got Philippians 120 I've been working on uh, and there's one word in here that I didn't understand and that would have been uh, I asked Martians, what does this word mean? And of course, she she knows she knows words. Marsha is good at that. Uh, libation. It's L-I-B-A-T-I-O-N. Libation. And Paul is saying that in Second Timothy four six, for I am already a libation, and the period of my dissolution is imminent. I thought, what is the libation? Well, I looked it up, and it's a it's a drink that's poured out for a deity. Uh, so, some of these words, you know, we look them up. If you don't understand them, look them up. Now, this is out of the Concordant Literal Translation, and uh, I'll write these verses out. I'll write them down uh, down in the comments where I put this, but. This is out of the Concordant Literal Translation and only in Paul's writings. I only use Paul because Paul was our apostle. He is our apostle. He wasn't with the twelve. This was a whole different deal that the risen Christ revealed to him. And so I want to read this out. This is this is the references that's tied to Philippians 1 verse 20. Alright. In accord with my uh, premonition and expectation that in nothing shall I be put to shame but with all boldness as always now also Christ shall be magnified in my body whether through life or through death for the premonition of the creation is awaiting the unveiling of the sons of God now expectation is not mortifying seeing that the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit which is being given to us for if I have boasted any to him over you I was not disgraced but as we speak all in the in truth to you thus also our boasting before Titus came to be the truth for if ever I besides should also be boasting somewhat more excessively concerning our authority which the Lord gives us for building up, building you up, and not for pulling you down. And for me, that to me ex expression may be granted in the opening of my mouth with boldness, to make known the secret of the evangel, for which I am conducting an embassy in a chain, that in it I should be speaking boldly, as I must speak. Now thanks be to God, who always gives us a triumph in Christ, and is manifesting the odor of his knowledge through us in every place. For we are a fragrance of Christ to God, and those who are being saved and, and those who are perishing, to these indeed an odor of death for death, yet to those an order of life for life, and for this who is competent. And the majority of the brethren, having confidence in the Lord, as to my bonds, are more exceedingly daring to speak the word of God fearlessly nor yet be presenting your members as implements of injustice to sin, but 
but present yourselves to God as if alive from the dead, and your members as implements of righteousness to God. As a man am I saying this, because of the infirmities of your flesh. For even as you present your members as slaves to uncleanliness and to lawlessness for lawlessness, thus now present your members as slaves to righteousness for holiness. I am entreating you then, brethren, by the pities of God, to present your bodies a sacrifice, living, holy, well-pleasing to God, for your logical service divine, or divine service. For you are bought with a price. By all means, glorify God in your body. The unmarried woman, as well as the virgin, the unmarried one is solicitous about the things of the Lord, that she may be holy in body as well as in spirit. Yet she who marries is solicitous about the things of the world, how she should be pleasing her husband, Christ. And he died for the sakes of all, that those who are living should by no means still be living to themselves, but to the one dying, and being roused for their sakes. But even if I am a libation on the sacrifice and main ministration of your faith. I am rejoicing myself and rejoicing together with you all. Now may the God of peace himself be hallowing you holy, and may your unimpaired spirit and soul and body be kept blameless in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. For not as for not one of us is living to himself, and not one is dying to himself. For both, if we should be living to the Lord we are living, and if we should be dying to the Lord we are dying. Then both, if we should be living and if we should be dying, we are the Lord's. And daily I am dying. By this boast of yours, brethren, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, always carrying about in the body the deadening of, deadening of Christ, that the life also of Jesus may be manifested in our bodies. Yet I am being pressed out of the two, having a yearning for the solution and to be together with Christ, for it, rather, is much better. Yet to be staying in the flesh is, is more necessary because of you. I am now rejoicing in my suffering for you, and in filling up in my flesh in his stead the deficiencies of the afflictions of Christ for his body. For I am already a Leviathan, a Lib A libation, libation. For I am already a libation, and the period of my dissolution is imminent. I have contended the ideal contest. I have finished my career. I have kept the faith. Verse 8 says, Furthermore, there is reserved for me the wreath of righteousness, which the Lord, the just judge, will be paying to me in that day yet not only to me, but also to all who love his advent. <laughs> and those are, the, those are the references to Philippians 1 verse 20. And I'll leave these references down, down there so in the drop down window so you can get them and, and look. Look these words up. Uh, that, that word libation, I stumble on it when I come across it because it's L-I-B is lib, libation, libation, Libatin. I just can't get it. My tongue doesn't roll with it, but it's a libation. A libation. <laughs> I run across it reading and it stumbles me. So, I never claim to be a good reader, but I enjoy these and uh, uh, it opens the scriptures up that much more when we look uh, the references up to scripture and, and uh, follow through with it. So, anyway, there it is. And, uh, We'll get the day started. We'll get this video put together and, and get it out. So, it's going to be a great day. I'm anxious to see what it brings. All right, we're halfway through it. We did get, went last night, went out to the, the farmer. We're getting milk from, uh, fresh milk, and uh, got two and a half gallon. Uh, let us set the refrigerator overnight, and this morning we, Elizabeth, peeled the cream off of it. So, we'll shake that and make some butter today <laughs> we'll have fresh butter nothing like it no additives right we're trying to live as as additive free as we can the way god intended it so 
we'll see how we see what the day brings. All right. I guess that's it. You all have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.